Fedora Linux has a bunch of different projects under its banner, from the atomic desktops, to the spins, to the labs, and of course, the additions. And each of these categories has a bunch of different projects inside. But when you think of Fedora Linux and think of Fedora on the desktop, there is one flagship project, that being Fedora Workstation. Even if there is nothing else you know about Workstation, there is one thing you know. It ships a GNOME desktop. But what if that wasn't the case? What if there was another flagship desktop on Fedora? Or maybe there were two flagships. Maybe that desktop could be KDE. That sounds absolutely crazy with no chance of ever happening. Well, maybe not no chance. I have just submitted a change proposal to Fedora to change the default desktop environment for Fedora Workstation to KDE Plasma. I want to emphasize this is not an April Fool's joke. It may come as a surprise given I am the lead of Buddies of Budgie, but I am just as interested in seeing adoption of Fedora and the greater Linux desktop increase. I firmly believe that Plasma as a default over GNOME Shell would be a net positive for the Linux ecosystem. And here is the proposal in question. Now keep in mind, this is just a proposal. As with all of the others, it is not set in stone, it is not guaranteed to happen. This is just being discussed. Also, even though Joshua Strobel isn't a part of the KDE SIG himself, other members of the proposal actually are. Also, as this is such a major change, I wouldn't be holding my breath for it. I have my doubts over whether or not it is going to happen, but we'll have to wait and see because this has a targeted release of Fedora Linux 42, which puts it at the end of 2025. So even if this does happen, it is not going to be happening for quite a while. But very importantly, it has not been blocked and it has not been withdrawn. It is still actively being discussed and may still happen. Also, the proposal itself is not set in stone and in many ways it's kind of made to kick the hornet's nest. As such, it is still very subject to change. And some of the initial goals have already changed from some of the discussions happening over in the forum. But this is what it initially said. Summary, switch the default desktop experience for Workstation to KDE Plasma. The GNOME desktop is moved to a separate spin slash addition, retaining release blocking status. So they would still release around the GNOME release cycle. It's just KDE would be the flagship instead. Plasma has been at the forefront of creating a cohesive desktop platform that empowers the users to have full ownership of their computing experience. Plasma provides this approachable, highly flexible, user extensible experience with predictability across Plasma releases. Unlike other desktop experiences such as GNOME Shell, the APIs leveraged by Plasma applets slash widgets have been more stable across minor Plasma releases, reducing long-term user frustration and promoting a healthier ecosystem for developers and users alike. Plasma provides a more traditional user experience that could be viewed as being more approachable to everyday computing users, serving as a smoother on-ramp to using Linux-based operating systems. Now, I know the Plasma devs don't particularly like to hear this, but it is true. In many ways, Plasma looks like Windows, and a lot of users see it like this. I do agree with this point. Also, in many ways, Plasma is just more interested in working on cross-desktop solutions. This is most evident when it comes to Wayland protocols, my favorite one being DRM leasing, which is still not implemented on GNOME, and GNOME is arguing about how they want it implemented. This is the reason why VR headsets don't work on Wayland GNOME, because they don't want to implement the solution that Valve wants implemented. Also, Plasma is working on a bunch of other protocols that GNOME is involved in discussing, but in many ways isn't interested in implementing most of these. And then there are other things outside of the protocols, like variable refresh rate, like screen sharing for legacy applications, global shortcut support for legacy applications, this being X11 applications, and a bunch of other things. That is not to say that GNOME is bad. GNOME has a vision, and in many ways, GNOME wants to implement a solution that is perfect. 
but Plasma is willing to compromise and get something done now to make sure users have something so they're not constantly complaining about a basic feature just not being there. And of course, Plasma is a massive desktop that does have some industry support. For example, the Pine64 devices, the Steam Deck from Valve, Tuxedo OS from Tuxedo Computers, and there are a bunch of downstreams built off of Fedora like Fedora Asahi Remix, Nabara, that ship Plasma. Plus, in 2025, Plasma should be fixing up their release schedule, switching to a semi-annual cadence that lines up with the Fedora Linux releases, enabling a tight interlock of development and integration between Fedora and KDE. Now, the goal here wouldn't be to make something entirely new. The experience that you would get, basically, is what you already get on Fedora KDE. It would be taking Fedora KDE and then promoting it up to workstation status. Now, as you might expect, there has been a mix of reactions. Is this an April Fool's joke? Are we being gaslit? That was my reaction because Joshua was in my Discord telling me about this happening the day after April Fool's, where in certain time zones, it was still April Fool's Day. Some people saying GNOME should be replaced. KDE is in a much better state. Some people saying GNOME shouldn't be replaced. KDE is still an absolute mess on Wayland. And others saying, this is Fedora. Fedora is Red Hat. This won't happen. Now, to be fair, a lot of those comments were said on places like the Pharonix forums. So take them with the giant mountain of salt they deserve. As for the Fedora discussion forums, there is a little bit of discussion. Uh, so far, 101 comments. There is also discussion over on the mailing list. Quite a bit less than that, but still, still a bit of discussion being had. Now, for clarity, one of the creators of the proposal, Steve Cossett, said this. Just a heads up about this proposal, we are in no way proposing the removal of the GNOME desktop environment. This would only switch the default DE from GNOME to KDE. So things are still going to be available in the repos. There's still going to be a GNOME spin. They're not saying let's just delete GNOME from the distro. GNOME has a UI that is much more refined and chiseled than KDE. I think that's supposed to say chiseled. I've never heard chiseled before. But the whole experience is usually quite restrictive and narrow, and new technologies usually take much longer to be implemented in GNOME than it does in KDE. KDE is at the forefront of many of the new technologies in Linux today. And as far as I know, this is what I like about Fedora. We usually foster the use of new technologies. For better, or worse, go back to the uh, Pulse Audio and System D adoptions, which were done not at the best time to do them. In very simple terms, I always compare GNOME to macOS, while I usually compare KDE to Windows. People really don't like these comparisons, but yes, I feel like this is fair. GNOME is a well-structured, contained experience, where KDE is more about doing your own thing. Yeah, there is a baseline here, but if you want to go and just change it out, install random applications, hey, it's your life, do what you want. But to be realistic, I wish this proposal would pass, but I am also realistic in the fact that it probably will not. And here is just a random Fedora KDE user that decided to write an essay. Fedora KDE is not being promoted enough like it deserves to because of its spin status. But if this proposal somehow makes it through as is, no compromise, this would make GNOME an absolutely excellent experience on Fedora that's well integrated that I also vouch for in the GNOME context to be the victim of underpromotion being unfairly represented due to it being a high quality experience in its own right compared to all of the other spins, barring sway in my opinion. So if nothing was changed and the proposal as is was implemented, it would take KDE, put it in the GNOME spot, and then GNOME put it in the KDE spot, giving Fedora GNOME a position where it is just not being promoted like it should be. The ideal outcome of this proposal in my eyes should be Fedora KDE graduating to a workstation variant. Workstation KDE, Plasma Workstation, whatever. Alongside the pre-existing workstation GNOME. Basically having Fedora KDE Workstation and Fedora GNOME Workstation equally promoted by the project and equally in a flagship status. And it seems like this is the most popular of the recommendations. Most people don't think it's a good idea 
to demote GNOME because it's been what workstations had for 10 plus years. But having another option there, that could actually happen. Now, how do we know that things are serious in Fedora land? Well, Matthew Miller, the Fedora project leader, writes a giant essay about the change proposal. I'd like to put this change on hold as a procedural matter. Under the Fedora Next framework where we established the Fedora editions, the workstation working group chose GNOME for implementation. The correct initial venue for this is that working group. Now, practically speaking, since Fedora Workstation has been GNOME based for a decade now, I don't think it's hard to guess how a decision there would likely come out. Nonetheless, I think that this is the correct approach to start. In the very early days of the Workstation Working Group, there were some proposals for that group to act as an umbrella overseeing multiple desktop environments. That is potentially something the group could reconsider. If the Workstation Working Group doesn't like that, the next step would be to consider the Fedora Council process for promoting a Fedora deliverable to an addition. Matt is skeptical about this route because it needs to address a distinct, relevant, and broad use case or user base that a Fedora edition is not currently serving. And yes, it would be a different desktop using KDE Plasma instead of GNOME, but it's still just offering a desktop Linux experience. If the Workstation Working Group is not interested in a dual desktop workstation approach, I think we can and should take this up at the Fedora Council level and find an approach that works and which better highlights the work that the KDE SIG and KDE fans in Fedora have put in. That may be a change to our edition rules or a particular exception or something else. I won't promise a particular outcome. And he doesn't think that demoting the existing gnome based workstation is a likely outcome. Also, it is something he would vote against because it is overwhelmingly popular and successful and we have good relationship with GNOME that we don't need to just throw out. So it's a lot more likely that a dual approach could be possible. Meanwhile, I'm not going to shut down this discussion topic, at least not immediately. But I do ask, proposers, please withdraw the change proposal. Joshua is not interested in doing so or Fesco, please decline slash defer. This has also not happened. And of course, we can never escape him. In this context, it makes sense though, because we are talking about Fedora, Neil Gomper. Neil, who is in this context, the thing that matters, the KDE SIG lead, a member of the Workstation Working Group, and a member of Fesco. He says, I would prefer that this proposal not be withdrawn or declined by Fesco until a sufficient alternative arrangement is worked out. This proposal is targeted at Fedora Linux 42 anyway, so there's a very long time frame to figure things out. Now, in a later post, Matt also provided some usage stats. And obviously, Workstation is by far the biggest chunk of Fedora. If it wasn't, it wouldn't be their flagship distro. But the other things are growing quite rapidly. And the question is whether KDE would be as big or bigger than Workstation if it wasn't hidden away as a spin. Are people using Workstation because they think GNOME is better, or are they using it because it's the thing on the homepage? I'm sure there are people using Workstation because they prefer GNOME. They're going to be in my comment section right now. But a lot of other people are probably just downloading Workstation because... It's the main one. The same reason why most people download Ubuntu GNOME because it's the main one. Without it being a flagship version for at least one or two releases, it's really hard to say what would happen if KDE was right there on the homepage. I personally think that it doesn't make sense to demote GNOME. There are a lot of people on Fedora happily using GNOME, and that's great is not my thing, but that's great. And putting it down to a level of just being another spin doesn't really make sense. But I am very interested to see what would happen if both GNOME and KDE were flagship options right there on the homepage. I feel like the numbers would be a lot closer. Who'd be ahead? Well, 
you'd have to check it out and see what happens. As a fun side note, over on Josh's post over on Mastodon, Matt Hartley, the lead Linux support over at Framework, had this to say. I'm interested in seeing where this proposal goes. I, on behalf of Framework Computer, support Fedora officially. Change of desktops would not change this. I put in a lot of effort into testing and what I consider to be vetted. KDE on Fedora has been excellent. I trust the leadership and community to make the right call. I am watching this closely. That is exactly how I feel. I don't know what's going to happen. I genuinely don't. I know a lot of the people involved, and at this stage, I've not heard anything that you guys haven't heard publicly, so let's just keep an eye on it, I guess. Now, there is one thing I do expect. I expect this thread to get locked at some point, because at this stage, nothing of value is really being said, and as more people find out about this, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more people commenting things that just should not be said. It might end up just being locked to SIG members and workstation group members, but please don't go and leave dumb comments on here. They know the technical merits of GNOME and KDE. Unless there's something important to be said, you don't need to leave your feedback. Instead, leave the feedback here. And if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, like, blah, blah, blah. Patreon, subscribe, silly bear, pay link in the description down below. If you like, uh, <laughs> this outro is a mess. Um, that's gonna be it for me. Bye.